welcome back to the 34 days of crappy games here on the 4 o'clock game. Last time we just played that horrible game, and now we're going to start off with another horrible game, and this is kind of short. And this game is called Taboo the Six Sense. This game was released in 1989 for the NES and was made by a company by Trade West and also co developed by Rare. Rare also produced another a lot of great games like uh, RC Pro Am, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That was also a horrible one, and of course, um, this another game which I think it's called Salom, which I also recently played it on the Four O'clock Game when I did a special one on saluting the Olympic Games. And uh, there's also another Rare game along before, after after so many games uh, that were produced by Rare on the NES. They also produced the Donkey Kong Country series. And uh, this is actually another one example of the game, and this is where I had to play. This game is another one of these pieces of garbage. Is where you can where you can play right now is this. This is the worst game ever made on there. If you watch James and Mike's video, if you watch an episode of James and Mike over at Cinemaskers, like James and Nintendo Nerds YouTube channel, I mean this game is actually rather short, and it's t it's a pretty bad game. And you know what? It is not a game. It's not even that not even count as a game because it's not as good. And of course, there's your um, and it's on the oh, look at this on this on this tagline says your personalized lucky numbers revealed. Yep, based on the series of tarot cards. And if you go to a psychic thing and that I, you can't do this. It's not even a great game. It's terrible. It's probably the worst one by far. And you can see what's on the back. There's your there's the there's the people who's been playing having fun playing this this game. Oh, well, let's 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 play that game and whatever it is. Well, that's not good. And here's the here's the re description of the game. Taboo is your personal link to the future, your window onto the unknown. Based on the tradition centuries old, it combines the ancient tarot system of predicting events to come with the high technology of the computer. The result is the answers to your questions about future events, plus your personal lucky numbers when you want them. Taboo is entertaining when you use by just one person or enjoyed by a group. It's authentic, it's exciting, and it provides hours of fascinating play for you and your friends. Note, Taboo the Sixth Sense is not intended for children under 14. It is meant for curiosity, value, and entertainment only. No mystical or magical claims are guaranteed and interfered. Yeah. This is what happens. You, you, there, this game does. This was the only NES game that had a warning on it. Says that you must be, you must be, you must be over fourteen in order to play this game. See, children under fourteen could not play this game at all. Why? Because it's a, this game's so bad. It is. It, look, it does look bad because it's it's a stupid game. You had to play it for when you when you reach fourteen. If you reach fourteen, you want to play this game, and you know what? It's it's an adult-only game. This was way before the rating system, you know, the ESRB rating system that wasn't even introduced until the mid '90s. The the uh, the only NES game, the first and only NES game, was uh, Wario's Woods, which has an ESRB rating. But this is the that was also that considered was released on the NES in 1985. It was the last game ever made on the Nintendo that has the and was the only game that had the ESRB. And I know this is the stupidest game I ever played, and this game is bad. So, I want to, you know how, what game is bad? Let's find out when I'm playing Taboo the Sixth Sense for the NES. Okay, here we go. Taboo the Sixth Sense. What a bad game. And this game, I'm going to play this really because it's very short. Uh, this game actually also came. I know those of you who have never played this game before, if you have not been played, it's, uh, this is the only game that's even, that doesn't have, doesn't have the challenge or doesn't have any strategy. And, you know, Taboo the Sixth Sense, if you have saw James and Mike's episode. And, yeah, and you can start the game, it says, All that has been and all that will be is here for you to know. Dare you glimpse the future? Dare you even ask? Taboo, the time machine on Nintendo. That's kind of like an advertising thing. Um, just to, just to, I had to disagree with this. Oh, yeah. 
just to keep things short. I would like to put a name on this. You know, we can try, um... You know, uh, this is this is not even a game. It's You have to type in your name. But this is, uh, simple. Okay. Uh, this is, um, I'm, I'm just gonna put the names on them. Uh, I'm not gonna put real names on this one. How about we're gonna put a name right there? For example, the late great Mickey Rooney. Yep. I don't know who was born, and I don't know who. Yep. This is right, Mickey Rooney. We should put the name, the late great Mickey Rooney. You know, he died uh, back in March of, what was it, March? April. That was found back on April the April the 9th. I should put the name Mickey. Yes, Mickey Rooney. His birth date is um, let's see, September 23rd. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, this is this is where I had to do it. It's just oh yeah, we we should do it. Just September the twenty third. Yeah, September twenty third, nineteen uh, twenty. Your sex is ma'am. Your question. Oh, here's how you can meet. Yeah, this is some sort of a tablet type game. It's, this is back when there was no iPod Touch. Yeah, here's the, here's the question. Have you met Judy Garland? Have you met Judy Garland? That's the... Uh, uh, this is like when he first met Judy Garland. When he, yeah, he met Judy Garland when he was on, in the movies. You know, um... Probably Mickey Rooney, who was once, uh, I guess, uh, this is, this is something like to become a relationship, I think. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, it's been more than, yes, have you met Judy Garland, you know, that's Andy Hardy. Yeah, he was, yeah, he actually first met. Have you met Judy Garland? If you recognize... Oops, that's Judy Garland. Okay, Judy Garland. Have you met Judy Garland? That's that's the question. And you can see how you change the cards. You have to shuffle the cards. Look at this. LSD. Yeah, you can see it's kind of LSD in the, the background. It says, you, card, the king of coins. I will now deal the cards. This is just stupid. I don't know, I don't know this game is not very cool. It doesn't get any challenge. I don't know where's the game. It, where's the... Where's the Factor. What's the fun of this game? I did not know the the, the Taboo the Sixth Sense was released at actually the uh, on the NES. And um, you have to choose the option on how to play. Here it is. Significant. He has a significant factor. The card. The Empress. Currently, your situation is level-headed, practical, and well-founded decisions. And. Uh, which is, uh, clever. It says crossing card. The two of the coins. The two of coins. Pre presently influencing you is a fear of embarrassment or worry holds back new opportunities. The second one. 
Attainable at this time is a tendency to make and or dominate wars and arguments. That's crowning card, what it's called, the Emperor. And uh, here it is. Base of the Matter card, the Ten of Cups. The distant past foundation is ongoing contentment, virtue. Here's past influence card, ten of coins. Recent past factors are strong family ties. No relation to the television show with Michael J. Fox. Forthcoming influence card, the page of cups. This card ha is reversed. The near forthcoming influence is a deviation, deviation from the normal cause of distraction. And here's a number eight, where where one finds on self the card the eight of staffs. You in proper perspective have our rapid development. View of others card, the page of swords. This card is reversed, viewed by others. You are sudden illness in the near future or unable. I don't know, this is this is not Hopes and fears the card of the Queen of Coins. You enter hopes and fears are a wealthy person who is generous and charitable. And one more card. The final arc outcome card, the world. The culmination of the events revealed before will be the final goal or outcome despite all else. And you have to do is select your state. I, feel, I don't know how to do this to select, to select your state. He was born in, uh, uh, let's see, if this is what we called. Oh, he was born in 19... In Brooklyn, New York, he was born. Well, let's try New York. And, uh... Oh, yeah, he had a, to do is just find uh, New York. That's right. Yeah. That's where Mickey Rooney was born in the hometown of Brooklyn, New York. And we have number six. And here's your lucky numbers. 32, 44, 28, 32, 42, 46. And there you go. And then, and then it goes back to the title screen. And that's it. I don't have anything to... Uh, I don't know why. This game is actually its not even as good. I, I can't believe this turns out to be one of the worst game in, in existence. It's its like based on tarot cards, which is actually developed. It was Rare, which actually the uh, the company that owns other great games, you know, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and uh, the other games that were made by Rare, RC Pro-Am, and also, and also Rare also did the, the Donkey Kong Country series. I can't believe this. It's just not even good. I think this game was actually from 1989. And I don't know why this game's not pretty bad. It was pretty bad. You know, because you have to... You you, you, you just... Tell, it, this, is the, this is the worst game ever made. And he had to give you an instruction book on the... Yeah, he had to give a list of other stuff. You know why? Because the game is not... The, there's no control. There's no gameplay. Where's the fun? I don't really describe this game. It's not good. Yeah, the game has actually lasted about five. It was three minutes. Now you got to finally complete the game for three minutes. Why? It's a short game. You had to do is like you had to type in a question. You know, you have what's your birthday, or you could type a name, a birthday, or whatever it is. You had to type in a question, and you give you a couple of fortunes. This is stupid. You know, they, they put tarot cards in the game. I don't know why if you're a psychic person. <laughs> you can't go... Yeah, you can't go to any person. You know what? This is... this is It's like giving the lottery number. You had to go out and win the lottery. This is like lottery or like... Uh, you want... What, yeah, yeah, the number... Like pick 10 or Powerball or whatever this game is. You had to go to a New York lottery. I, I don't care. This game is not very fun. 
This is no fun! This is no fun! I give this, I give up with the Taboo, the Sixth Sense. It's got only have 78 cards. It's like a, it's a party game. It's, you, you know what? It's, it's a party game. It was actually for multiple adults. It's game is for adults only! You know, I'm 35 years old. And you give the, yeah, there was actually, when you look at the instruction manual, it says you, you don't, you have to play at the age, under the age of four. You have no right to, yeah, you have to, yeah, this game is recommended to ages 14 and older. Yeah, because you have no kids under 13 should, under 14 could not play this game. And you look at this, and you look at the back of the, the game, it says here, that you, it says, Tab of the Six Sense is not intended for kids under 14 and is meant for curiosity value entertainment only. No mystical or magical claims are guaranteed or interfered. In feared. It's... This is an insult. I can't believe this is not even a good... This is back before the MR... M, what is this? ESRB. The rating system. Oh my gosh. They're showing a butt. Oh yeah. Showing his naked body or whatever this is. I don't really care. Uh, this game's not cool. Uh, that's not very fair. So, what am I gonna do right now? Let me, let's ground Taboo the Sixth Sense right now. And I, I, I can't go, let's go to Go Anime and ground Taboo the Sixth Sense right now. So, that's enough of this. So, I'll be back to, for more of my next show. Of the next 34 Days of Crappy Games. Right after this grounded video. Enjoy. Taboo the Sixth Sense NES. You are so so grounded for making this horrible game with no gameplay. And it's for adults only. But now I'll call your friends. Oh no. Hey can you come over the house? Because Taboo the Sixth Sense NES. Got grounded for making a bad game with no gameplay. And it is based on the tarot card game. And it is not appropriate for children under 14. And it is for adults only. But you can come back anyway so in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Hi there, Tabu the Sixth Sense NES. You're grounded now and I don't want you to make this game anymore. I shall tell you be better assumed. You are so in trouble and now I will slap you a million times. Let's play a game of slapping Tabu the Sixth Sense NES. First is calling. No for battle yet. No. Now first. Now for all of us at the same time. No. No, I am sorry, I will apologize. We don't care. I have to get out of here. No, he's not getting away with that. You can run, but you can't hide. Get him, maybe you'll learn their lesson. Oh, Go to bed now and changed my mind. Let's knock him down. Oh no, Kui, I'm in big, 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 big trouble. Go to bed now or I will break your NES cartridge off if you don't go to bed. Oh no. 
too bad now you are gay. Got him. Where do they go to bed? Go to bed now or I will destroy the game. The tarot cards. The rules and the whole game next time when I come over here and go to bed now or I will spit on your face and beat you up. Taboo the sixth sense you are grounded for a bazillion trillion billion million years. No tarot cards no fortune telling for 9 8 2 7 1 9 8 4 7 3 9 5 1 7 3 9 8 4 1 7 3 9 8 5 7 2 9 8 6 7 9 3 9 9 9 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 2 8 5 2 0 8 5 2 0 3 8 0 2 9 8 2 0 4 9 0 2000 years go to bed now. Now I'll spank you. Now I'll beat you up. Time for you to go, 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 go to bed now. Back we are. From the go animate scene to back to the live scene. So anyways, here it is. In conclusion, Taboo the Sixth Sense is terrible. It's a pretty short game, but it runs about 5 to 10 minutes. It, it, it was a game you can play for 5 minutes, and it's not very cool. And I they, it, this is not, it doesn't even do well with the game. It's like based on a series of tarot cards you had to, or giving you some fortune tellers. And and at the end, you had to pick your lottery, pick your lucky numbers that look like lottery numbers to me. What do I do? Are you going to go there and win the lottery? Well, it's not very cool. So... If you don't, if you have heard of this, or if, if you've never heard or seen this game, so if you're if you're if you're over 14, if you want to play this one, just go play this game. If you're under 14, just skip it and don't play this game at all. But if you want to play this, if you want to learn about it, just go play this game. If not, skip it. So don't play this game. Don't play Tab of the Six Sense at all because the game was too short. So and that comes to the end of. The 4 o'clock games, 34 days of crappy games. So we'll do another crappy game tomorrow. And I don't know why. Because just one more thing before we get, before we end this video right now. This game has nothing, it has no connection with the classic porno film from the early 80s. What they call Taboo, the Taboo movie series. Or The Sixth Sense was actually a horror movie. Why that? It has no, both of these two titles had no connection between Taboo and The Sixth Sense. Because... As anything has no connection, Taboo was actually a porno film, or was it the what they call the porno series, or The Sixth Sense was actually a horror movie, like uh, such as I See Dead People or whatever it is. This has nothing to do with this connection between these movies, but it has nothing to do with the movie. But it's a different game. But that's just stupid for for no reason. It's not very fun. So there you go. I will talk to you again tomorrow. We'll play another awful game here on the 4 o'clock game. And I will see you again tomorrow. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again later.